Hi, my name is Shalom Patel and I'm from Duke University. I'm also a developer for the Internet to Grouper project. This is the end user's track of the Grouper training. In this video, I'll be talking about the admin UI, and this is part four. Here are the topics that I'll be covering in this part. In part three, I started to cover groups in the admin UI. I showed how you can create, delete, and edit them along with privileges on groups. This video will cover viewing memberships, adding and removing memberships, and finally importing and exporting memberships. So in the admin UI, once you select a group, uh, if you have read access to the group, then you can view the memberships of the group by clicking on the Manage Members link. You are able to either view just the direct members, or just the indirect members, or all the effective memberships. You may also have options um, to sort the membership list based on various attributes depending on how your group administrator has configured this. And you also have an option to search through the membership list. This is useful, for instance, if uh, the group has a huge number of members and you want to see if a specific member is in the group. So next I'm going to do a demo of uh, viewing memberships in the admin UI. Uh, here I've navigated to a group called All Academic Staff. I'm going to click on the Manage Members link. Um, so initially I am showing direct members of this group. And here are the six direct members. Um, they all happen to be groups uh, that are all called staff. And I can click on one of these. And that will give me more information, um, like the full path of that group. I can change this to show indirect members. And so now this says that there are 11 indirect members. Um, one, for example, or a couple, for example, like Keith uh, Windsor, is a member by two paths. So I can click on that. And this will explain to me um, all the ways that this person is a member of the All Academic Staff Group. And so there are two ways. Um, he happens to be a member of this medicine staff group, which is a member of the all academic staff group, and he also happens to be a member of this uh, medical and veterinary sciences staff group, which happens to be a member of the all academic staff group as well. And then finally, I can also show all members of the group, direct and indirect. And this will show me all 17 members. So next, I'm going to navigate to another group uh, called All Users and view its membership list. Uh, I'm going to view the direct members only. Uh, so there are 144 uh, direct members uh, in this group. I can change the way this group is sorted. Uh, so here I can sort by name or by login ID. So I can switch to login ID and, and select the button, change. Uh, sort attribute. Uh, now say if I'm curious about all the Johns that are in this group. Um, well there are 144 uh, members here and I don't want to have to go through all of the different pages to find all of them. I could increase the page size which may help but an easier thing to do is just to uh, search for the members using this uh, box here. So I can search for John, click on the search for members, and now it'll show me all the Johns that are in this group. Next I'll show how to add members to a group. Uh, you can click on the add members link and then search for an entity which is usually a person or a group. Uh, note that you won't be able to see groups that you don't have view privilege on. Uh, then you can select one or more of the entities and click the assign privileges button. So next I'm going to demonstrate adding uh, members. I'm going to click on this administrators group and then click on the Add Members link. And then I'll do a search here. Um, I want to add um, a couple of the Johns uh, to this group, so I'll search for John. And say so if I wanted to add John Blair and John Bush, I'll select both of them and click on Assign Privileges. Now I can return to the group summary, go to Manage Members, and see that both of those Johns are members of the group. I can go back to the group summary and say now I want to add um, the engineering administrators group as a member of this group. Um, I don't remember the full path of it, but I know that it's called um, administrators, so I'll, I'll search for administrator. And now here it'll show me all the results. Uh, the one that I wanted was the last one, 
um, which is the administrators group within the engineering folder. And I can select that. And again, if I go to the group summary and then manage members, uh, you can see that the administrators group is now a member of this group as well. I'll go back to the group summary, um, go to the add members link again. Um, so both of the members that I, or all three of the members that I added so far were by doing a search for people or groups. Um, I, I can also navigate the, um, the group or hierarchy to find groups uh, to add as members as well. Uh, so say for instance if I go um, to the academic uh, facilities folder and then go into the arts folder and then say if I wanted to add the administrators group within the arts folder as a member of this group, as a member of the um, uh, the, the QOB administrators group, then I could select that and click on assign privileges and then assign privileges and so now if I go to the group summary again and then manage members uh, you can see that there are two administrators group uh, one of them would be the arts one uh, that happened to be the engineering one so the first one would be the uh, the arts administrators group uh, so that was basically demonstrating that you can either search for a person or a group um, or also navigate the hierarchy to find a group uh, to add as a member uh, of the group. Next I'll show how to remove members from a group. Uh, once again you can click on the manage members link uh, then you can either select one or more members to remove and click on the remove selected members button or you can click on uh, the button to remove all members. Uh, so again, I'll do a, a quick demo of that. So here, say, um, first I want to delete both of the Johns from this group. Um, so I'll select both of the Johns and click on Remove Selected Members, and I'll confirm that. Um, or if I wanted to just delete all the members, I can just click on the Remove All Members and then confirm that. And now there are no direct members in this group anymore. So the admin UI also has a method of importing memberships. Uh, this feature is not enabled by default, so you may not necessarily see it. Uh, and even if it is enabled for you, the input format depends on how this feature has been configured by your group or administrator. For instance, the administrator can determine if the input uh, should be tab or comma separated in which field in each line of the input should contain either the entity ID or the entity identifier. And there can be multiple choices available to you as well. Uh, but by default, the first field should be the entity ID, and all other fields are essentially ignored. Uh, so basically, providing a list of entity IDs, one per line, is sufficient. And again, I'll do a, a quick demo of this. So now I'll demonstrate importing members. I'll go to the All Users group, and then click on Manage Members. And here you can see that there are 144 members. Um, I'm going to first delete all of these members from this group and while that's happening I'll mention that I have an, um, a text file that I've opened up in Excel um, as just a, a standard CSV file that has the 144 members. Um, now all the members were deleted from the group so this group is now empty. Um, there's this import members button here if I click on that without specifying a file name, then I can paste in entity IDs one per line here to import into the group. So to demonstrate that, I'll just um, enter in a couple of them and then click on import members. And then you can see here that the two were imported successfully. And then if I go to manage members, uh, you can see the two results here. Uh, so alternatively, I can click on the browse link here and select that file, the allusers.txt file, uh, which is the same one that I was viewing here that has the 144 members, and then click on import members. And now this will import um, all 144 of them. Uh, the two of them that were already in the group um, will essentially just get skipped. And so now if I go to Manage Members, 
uh, you can see that there are 144 uh, users in the group now. And so finally, the last topic for this video um, is to show that the admin UI also has a method of exporting memberships. Uh, once again, this feature is not enabled by default, so you may not necessarily see it. And again, even if it is enabled, the export format may be different from what I described here since it can be changed by your grouper administrator. The default export format options are uh, tab separated on screen, CSV with Excel, or CSV in the browser. And finally, the default output fields are the entity ID, name, and type. And again, I'll show a quick demo of this. So once again, I'm in the all users group. And here you can see an option to export members. Uh, so the selected um, format is tab separated on screen. So I can click on the export members link. And here are all the members. Uh, so the first column has the entity ID. The second column has the name um, of the entity. And the third is the type, um, which in the case of this, they're all um, people. So the type is person. I can go back and change this to CSV uh, open with Excel, uh, click on export members, and then I can save that. And I can export the file using Excel, and here it is. Um, again, the first column is the ID, the second is the name, and the third is the type. And I can also um, export in CSV in the browser. Uh, so again, I'll click Export Members, and now the results appear just directly in the browser, um, comma-separated. So now I'll go to the All Academic Staff group and do an export in there. Um, so I'll just do an export in the browser using CSV. And the reason why I'm showing this is that um, that the type here, first of all, is no longer people since all of the members here are groups. Uh, so they're all group. And also the name here is going to be the name of each of the groups. And so that's all for this tutorial. Um, you can click on the quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of this topic. And here are some links for more information. Thanks.